as an acquaintance maybe or something like that he was like mm -hmm. yes of course i know what you're doing i see you girl i see you i see you digging the gold i see you i see you i see you i see you i'm like how do you see me sir what do you see how what what, what can you see me what can you, what can you see me like the gold the gold the gold the gold the passport that you're about to dig now like Up with it, girl. Rock with it, girl. See Show them it, girl. So, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gif Sogu, and if this is your first time of watching any of my videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. I'm so excited to do this again with you guys, and I'm also more excited because I'm turning 23 next week. Oh my god! <laughs> 23 guys 23 and i am so excited about it a whole lot of things have happened in my life and i'm going to share it in the next vlog which is 23 things i have learned as an upcoming 23 year old woman that's why i'm right now i am a 23 year old woman i'm going to have two vlogs next week the first is the one i just mentioned and the next one has to be my birthday vlog so i'm going to show you guys what exactly i'm going to get up to on my birthday my birthday is on the thursday so start sending your gifts now 22nd of august i turn 23 start sending your gifts right now today's topic is but well, wait first have you subscribed have you have you have you okay yeah all right <laughs> today's topic is i just want to talk about this whole stuff because i have been very worried about this thing why is it that whenever you guys hear that somebody is friends with another person from another race you guys are all gold digger lads. like oh she's there to dig gold oh she's there to dig passport she's there to dig american passport canadian passport schengen visa european passport australia like i i don't understand it at all like i really i really do not get it i really do not get where you guys are bringing all this stuff from because okay this year apart from getting like bundles of regret meals from different places that i have applied to and <laughs> I, I, I still made friends from my Henneken IGP group. Henneken IGP means International Graduate Program. I made like two very good friends from there. The first one is Onella and the next one is Petrika. And like they've all been super nice to me. Like Petrika is one person that tells me that if I like I'm going to just put up one of her messages here so that you guys can see see it. So we are really good friends, like we're really, really good friends and all she's um, from romania she's from romania yeah and we're good friends and being friends with her she's white anyway being friends with her opened my eyes to the fact that you can actually make friends with different people from all over the world if you want there are good people everywhere so this year again last month i made a friend with um a friend, i met i met a friend from poland his name is emil and emil and i have been very very good friends like he likes black women yeah he's going to watch this video and he's going to see it so he likes black women and something wonderful is happening in emil's life very soon with a black woman which i am very excited about and oh emil is the one that made the intro to this video this is someone that i did not even tell at all that i wanted an intro to my channel like he just watched my channel for the first time and he's like i'm going to make you an intro he made me six intros for my channel for different topics that i'm going to talk about there's even an intro for my travel vlogs like that's how really nice um emil is to me and he is from poland he's white and he's my friend and if if people hear that i'm friends with a white guy now that's like exactly what they're going to start saying i don't know why we all we say i have another friend Owe. like Owe is like the nice one of the nicest persons i have met in my whole life like he takes my my um my matter seriously he takes he carries my matter on his head like he just makes sure that everything is fine with me and one time when was that i was having issues with my laptop and i had to deliver this client's work a um, asap he was like what what, I'm, what what am i going to do about this thing how am i like he was just worried about it. i've learned a lot from uwe he's his wife actually so i'm just trying to say that the fact that most of my friends are not nigerian does not mean that i am friends with this white people because i want their passports 
or because I want them to send me money or something. I work very hard. Like I am a hard worker, a super hard worker, and I work very hard. And when it has to do with choosing my friends, I think I'm one of the persons, one of the human beings that make that um that makes a very good decision or a very good choice with regards to choosing my friends. I have very good friends. My Nigerian friends are. I have the best support system ever I, I can never mention them all here but everybody that i call my friend is very valuable to me everyone that i call my friend is very very good to me and i'm good to them as well so whether you're if you're my friend whether you're black or white or brown a brown skin girl or boy i don't want to know i just want it to be that you actually have the qualities that i'm looking for when i choose my friend so you guys should please quit with this whole you're someone is friends with a white person and you're like oh i know what she's doing she's marrying the person or she she's friends with the person so that she cannot marry the person and like jack her out of this country or leave this country i'm just looking at you guys that i'm like you don't know you don't know you don't know <laughs> you don't you know the words about to hit you. I'm just saying, quit this mentality of thinking that whenever someone is friends with someone with another race or from another race, the person is just looking for a way to escape from the person's country. Like there are interracial marriages, there are interracial friendship, there are good interracial marriages. Like my favorite YouTube couple, Adana David and um, Aaron Ella, there's Rachel and Lucas. They're interracial couples. Are you going to say that Adana married David just so she can have a German passport? Or you're going to say Rachel married Lucas so that she can have an Italian passport or something? I don't understand. I'm like, people actually genuinely genuinely fall in love with people from another race people genuinely have good friendships with people from another race people are friends with people from other races so when someone is if is friends with somebody that is not from the person's race the person is not a sellout the person is not a gold digger the person is not looking for a way to find a passport and leave the person's country the person is friends with this person because he or she likes this person i'm friends with my with my with my wife friends because i like them i like talking to them they are nice they are just like my nigerian friends that i hold in high esteem just be um that i hold in high esteem sorry and just because they are white does not change that when i'm looking out for my friend i'm looking for someone that is really smart someone that i can have good conversations with someone that i can talk to when i'm down someone that can actually help me and someone that i can grow with someone that teaches me so these are the qualities that all my nigerian friends have i have a very i have a, a very strong friendship and i'm just trying to say that the fact that somebody is friends with somebody that is not the person's face does not mean that the person is a sellout. It does not mean that the person is a gold digger. I'm repeating it again because I told one of my, I was just in, I was talking to my friend Uwe and then I, I was just in with one of my friends that, that found out that I am friends with the white guy and he was like, yes. Okay, the person that found out that I was friends with the white guy was not my friend. He was an acquaintance maybe or something like that. He was like, mm-hmm, yes, of course. I know what you're doing. I see you, girl. I see you. I see you, the gold. I see you, I see you, I see you, I see you. I see you. I'm like, how do you see me, sir? What do you see? How? What? What, what can you see me? What? Can you, what can you see me? Like the gold, the gold, the gold, the gold, the passport that you're about to take now. Like the fact that I'm friends with this person. Did I tell you that I'm going to marry the person? Did I tell you that I'm dating this person? I am just friends with this person for God's sake. It does not make me a gold digger. It does not make me a sellout. Quit with this mentality. Like a lot of Nigerian guys get married to women that are like far older than them. You don't see people judging them, saying, oh, passport, oh, money, oh, this. Like they're like, oh, great, in love and all. So me, I cannot now be friends with people from other races, whether female or male. I cannot now choose my own friends. Like, see, I've been ranting so much, but in conclusion, the fact that somebody decides to be friends with someone from another race does not make the person a sellout. The fact that someone decides to get married to someone from another race does not make the, the person a sellout. I saw Cora be this comment section sometime in July, and I almost cried. The, 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 the comments there were very disgusting. For people that were calling her a sellout for getting married to a white, like they were insulting her husband because she's black or she's a brown skin girl, and then she got married to a white guy, all of a sudden she's not a sellout. To you. Like, I don't understand. Like, people should be allowed to choose friends to be friends with whoever they want to be friends with and you guys should please stop judging and stop calling people gold digger passport diggers money digger and every other digger that you know please like i am literally begging you 
that's a very um uh, get into the cotton now but i'm just saying that if you if you if you if you like somebody the fact that the person's race is different from yours should not change anything don't think that you are selling out your race don't think that oh you are a sellout don't think that people are going to say oh i'm a gold digger people are going to call me a gold digging bitch and oh no like be friends with this person because you enjoy this person's company because you enjoy talking to this person and because when you check your list of what i need when i'm looking for a friend i'm not saying boyfriend or man friend or woman friend this person fits in so be friends with this person for that and don't 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 be like oh what are people going to say now when they hear that i have a friend that is from france but again, I have a friend that's from Italy and all. Like, don't mind that. Don't care about that. Just do what you want to do. Do what you have to do. And stop thinking of what people are going to say because people are definitely going to talk. I am an old woman now. I am 23. So I have actually learned a lot in my 23 years in this, in this life, in this planet. So I think I have a lot of wisdom. <laughs> I think I have a lot of wisdom to pass on to the younger generation and even the older generation mm -hmm. Yes, I think I have a lot of wisdom to pass on to like generations to come at all So please if you if you want to be friends with somebody from another race If you meet a person on LinkedIn or Facebook and you're like, ah, I cannot be friends with this person now What are they going to say now? They're going to say, eh, I'm a gold digger eh. Please be friends with the person, you have a lot of things to learn from these people You have a lot of things to, be friends with whoever you want to be friends with Like, don't, don't, don't listen to what people are going to say mm, That's the end of this vlog, of this video today, not this vlog This video, no, whatever that's the end of this video today so the next time i'm going to be seeing your face is going to be on my but you're going to be seeing my face mm -hmm. it's going to be on my birthday week so you can send your gift i'm going to link the my my destination my <laughs> i'm going to list link my um my top set my net my bucket list destination blog post to this video so that you can you know check it out and see the one that you can pay for so that this 23 year old woman we enjoy her by day her birthday <laughs> don't mind me guys thank you so much for watching this video if you have not smashed that subscribe button yet please smash it smash it smash the subscribe button mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah do that thank you so much for watching till i come your way again next week be good be nice to your neighbor and quit calling people go tiga quit calling people go tiga quit calling people passport tiga mind your business yeah whatever bye guys bye